Hey good morning everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar and in this video we are going to integrate AWS API with lambda function. We will create lambda function first and then AWS REST API. Create functions. Give the name of the function. Runtime I am selecting Python. You can select any other supported language. In this demonstration, we are not going to use or calling any AWS service. So we don't require to create a custom IAM role for the Lambda function. By default, it is going to create a IAM role with basic Lambda permission. If you are using or calling any AWS service, then you have to create a custom IAM role. I am okay with the default setting. In the advanced setting, I am okay. I am not launching this lambda function into specific network. Go ahead and create function. Lambda function has been created. Now we can write the code in the python by default it creates a file lambda underscore python with a default handler default handler is entry point of your lambda function this is a default handler that is accepting two input or argument event and context by using event you are sending input or data to the function and context will define or inform to lambda function how to use the information or input and sending back output of the function to the sender let's write a simple greeting python code in this code lambda function is accepting input from the user via event and it is going to check if name attribute is available in the event if yes then it is going to print greeting with the value of the name if name attribute is not available in the event then it is going to print hey visitor it is going to return value of greeting to the calling function we can create or write the test to validate our function let's write a basic test scenario click on the test give the name of the test provide your input in a json because lambda function is accepting input as a json format i am providing two value to lambda function out of two value lambda function will check the attribute or key value for the name let's go ahead and save it our test scenario has been created let's go ahead and run it test has been completed and lambda function is printing name of the user so lambda function is working as expected now we will create the second part of this demonstration aws rest api user will call aws rest api from the browser and api will invoke lambda function and return the greeting value back to the api so let's create aws rest api search api service click on api gateway in this demonstration we are going to create rest api go ahead and click on build choose the protocol rest create new api click on new api give the api name select the regional api it is going to deploy in your current region in my case it is us east one go ahead and create api blank or default rest api has been created now you require to create 
resource and methods click on action and click on resource and give the resource name for example greetings and resource path by default taken from resource name go ahead and create resource now you require to add the method for this resource you can select any of the method for your resource I am selecting any it means any method can be used for my greeting method click on yes button after method has been created now you need to integrate your rest api gateway what is your integration type in my demonstration i am integrating the lambda function and select the region where your lambda function is hosted has a standard practice you should always create your lambda function and aws api in the same region select the lambda function this is the lambda function go ahead and save it okay integration has been completed this is the complete workflow in the better request we are going to send our parameters or header it is going to integrate with the lambda lambda function will invoke lambda function will execute it is going to return the response and this is the method of the response so click on method request we are going to configure the url query string parameter you require to declare the name of the parameters which can be query or header on this api url click on add query string in our demonstration we are using name has a parameter for the query on lambda function say yes now this api gateway will accept name has a parameter for url query go back and click on integration request we are good with the default configuration url path parameters is default url query string also ok we good with the http header we require to map our templates what is mapping template aws api gateway will transform or translate a user input into the required data format before sending for example we are going to send name has a query parameters so mapping template will convert name parameters json format before sending to lambda function select the second option when there are no template defined then click on add mapping template select application and json and say yes then click on application json and create a template with this value we are taking the input from name parameters and assigning to name variable go ahead and save it go back integration response we don't require to make any changes here method response we good we don't require to make any changes now you can test your aws api before deploying click on test select the method get give the parameters name test it You can see here the test result we got 
the correct response from the lambda function hey john we pass the john as a name parameter to the lambda function lambda execute the query and return back the value so we are good to deploy this api gateway click on deploy api before deploying that you require to create a stage name go ahead and deploy you can deploy multiple stages like staging production poc and all the things so this is the aws api url to invoke or get a result on the browser click on get and you can invoke the lambda function by using this url this api executes without any parameters how can you invoke or execute api with the name parameters question bar name equal to weapon go ahead and generate it yeah you can see here aws api successfully invoked the lambda function lambda function executed and written the value to rest api rest api displayed or prints the value on the browser so this is the end to end demonstration how can you integrate lambda function with aws rest api in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day